glory. Without God, I could do nothing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Without Him, yes. I would fail. Yes. Without Him, mm -hmm. my life would be rugged like a ship. Without a sail, without a doubt, yeah. mm. he's my savior, Jesus. my thank strength Lord. alone, life's way, Jesus, thank you, Lord. in deep waters, he's my anchor, yes, yes, Ooh, Lord faith, he'll be. <laughs> Without God, I could do nothing. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Without Him, yes. I would fail. Without Him, my life would be rugged like a ship, like a ship without. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. We may be few in number, but we came to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes. He's a good God. Yes, he is. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 I give reverence to God and honor to the head of this house, Reverend Bantam. I call him Papa Smurf. Uh -huh. My Papa Smurf. Uh -huh. To my son, Amen. Reverend Parrish Holloman. Amen. Mama loves you. And to the ministers, Amen. to the reverence, I was there. Amen. I was there. Amen. 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 I'm excited to be here. It took a while to get here, and um, hopefully we can start coming back a little more because you guys start before we do. Amen. But um, I'm just excited about what Reverend Bantam is doing Amen. and Amen. what you all are doing down here. And I just know that it's just going to fill up because as long as you put God Amen. first, Amen. And do That's what right. He's called Amen. you to do. Amen. Things That's will work right. out. Amen. 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 So I'm here to introduce my son and present my son to you. He um, was called to preach at a very young age. I call him a, I say he had like a, a child star life. I call him my little Michael Jackson, but he's still here. <laughs> Amen. Um, he didn't have a chance to be a kid, a kid Jesus. or a teenager. He was called at a very young age. Jesus. And uh, you, we didn't know how serious he was, but he was very serious. He was laying hands at the age of five. Mm. Jesus. And, uh, Thank you. And now he's here. Jesus. Preach his first Jesus. sermon at nine. And he's been preaching for the Lord since. Amen. I do ask that you continue to pray for him. Because yes. he's a 20-year-old young yes. man. Yes. Yes. And a good right. one at that. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, he's coming well. into himself. And he's learning more about life. But he hasn't forgotten about the Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, Amen. I believe he has a word for the Lord. I ask that you pray for him as yes. he comes forth. I ask that you open your ears and hear what the Lord has to say on Amen. this morning. Yes. And keep them in your prayers. Amen. 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 Let's get excited about Jesus. Amen. Yes, Amen. yes. Give him a hand as he comes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. My bishop, in his absence, Reverend Dr. W. Vance Cotton Sr., and our co-pastor, Reverend Kim L. Cotton, mm -hmm. to the pastor of this house, and Reverend Bantam, to all the reverends, deacons, trustees, and members. I'm going to get right into it. I'm not going to be in the way of all time. If you have your Bible, mm -hmm. it's a very, um, I'd say, an unfamiliar passage. Um, it's the book of Haggai. You would turn me to the book of Haggai. I'll give you some time. Um, it's in between Zephaniah and Zechariah, so 
It's the so if you go to Mal Malachi, it's it towards back, the end of the Old Malachi. Testament. And two, two before that, it might be two pages, two or three pages. The Old Testament, the end yeah. of the Old Testament. Amen. And I'll be reading the fourth through the eleventh verse. What chapter? <clears throat> chapter chapter one. Okay. Chapter one, the fourth through the eleventh verse. And it reads, Is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sealed houses, mm. in this house lie waste? Now therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Ye have sown so much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put into a bag of holes. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Go up to the mountain, and bring wood, and build a house, and I will take pleasure in it. And I will be glorified, saith the Lord. Ye looked for much, and lo, it came to little. And when ye brought it home, I did blow upon it. Why? said the Lord of hosts. Because of my house that is waste, and you run every man unto his own house. Therefore the heaven over you stayed from dew, and the earth is stayed from her fruit. And I called for a drought upon the land, upon the mountains, upon the corn, and upon the new wine, and upon the oil, and upon that which the ground bringeth forth, and upon men, upon cattle, and upon all the labor of thy hands. Amen. If you could bow your heads. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for bringing us out here today, O oh Lord. I just ask that the people see all of you and none of me, Lord. Have me behind your cross. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You may be seated. I'm just going to read a couple of different more translations just so mm -hmm. you get a better understanding of the past. So the New Living Translation says, This is what the Lord of Heaven's army says. Look at what's happening to you. You have planted much, but harvest little. You eat, but are not satisfied. You drink, but are still thirsty. You put on clothes but cannot keep warm. Your wages disappear as though you were putting them in pockets filled with holes. This is what the Lord of Heaven's army says. Look at what's happening to you. Now go up into the hills, bring down timber, and rebuild my house. Then I will take pleasure in it and be honored, says the Lord. You hope for rich harvests, but they were poor. And when you brought your harvest home, I blew it away. Why? Because my house lies in ruins, says the Lord of Heaven's armies, while you, all of you are still busy building your own fine houses. Mm -hmm. And the last trans translation, the one that relates to us the most, is the Message Bible translation. Mm -hmm. And this reads, And then a little later, God of the angel of the army spoke out again. Take a good, hard look at your life. Think it over. You have spent a lot of money, but you have not much to show for it. You keep filling your plates, but you never get full. You keep drinking and drinking and drinking, but you're always <coughs> thirsty. You put on layer after layer of clothes, but you cannot get more. And the people who work for you, what are they getting out of it? Not much. A leaky, rusted out bucket. That's what. And that's why God of the angel army said, take a good hard look at your life, think it over. Then God said, here's what I want you to do. Climb into the hills and cut down some timber. Bring it down and rebuild the temple. Do it just for me. Honor me. You've had great ambitions for yourself, but nothing has come of it. The little you have brought to my temple, I have blown away. Jesus. There was nothing to it. Jesus. And why? Because while you run around <clears throat> caught up with taking care of your own houses, mm. my home mm. is in ruin. Mm. That's why. Jesus. And because of your stinginess, mm. so I've what given you, you say, a dry summer and a skimpy crop. Mm. I've matched your tight fitness <laughs> and stinginess by decreeing a season <laughs> of drought, drying up fields Jesus. and hills, withering gardens, orchards, stunning vegetables, nothing, not man or woman, not animal, or crop is going to thrive. Mm. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Since the beginning of time, we as a people have always been more selfish than not overall. We tend to be only worried about ourselves. And in this text, it says, first of all, consider your ways. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. And this is a plea, for lack of better words, a plea on the part of God for the people to take note of what they're doing compared to what they should be doing Jesus. and to change their ways. Yes, yes. They have put all the attention on themselves and have been doing things for their own pleasure. Mm. And this is just like us today. We yeah. spend so much time doing things the wrong way. We know that we should, what we should be doing, yet instead of doing it, we do what we want to do. The Bible says, you have sown much and bring in little. The people did what they needed to do. They ate food, they had clothes, they drank, they earned money. But the thing is that they could never get ahead in life. They could just get by. 
and this is like a gardener who plants many seeds. But if he does not tend to the crop, they cannot grow. That's right. But the reason that people could never get ahead in life was due to the fact that they were so worried about their own agenda. Mm -hmm. They had all the excuses in the book, and this sounds an awful much like today. We spend our own time on our own agenda, worrying about only ourselves. Mm. Yes, for a while, we may seem like we're doing fine. We might have the house we want, the cars we want, the job we want. But there's always a want for more, which is never good. Mm -hmm. You see, there's an old myth about King Midas, and he was a king who wished that everything he touched Turn turned to gold. gold. And at first, it seemed like a real good idea, until he realized that he would eventually die, because even his food would turn mm -hmm. to solid mm -hmm. gold once he touched it. And the want for more is something known as greed. And greed is defined as the intense and selfish desire for something, mm. which in itself is a sin. These people in the text were greedy people. The Bible says in Exodus 20 and 3, no other gods, only me. Yes. And now you might be sitting there thinking to yourself, well, what does he mean? Mm -hmm. How am I putting another god before him? Mm. I'm, I'm just trying to better Talk my life. Talk about it. Make it plain. But anything that is love, fear, delighted in, or dependent on more than God, that is making yes. a God out of it. Yes. Therefore, putting it before the one and only true God. And I came to let you know that if you do not put God first in your life, you might be able to attain some wealth. You can be successful, but it will not last, and you will not receive an overflow of mm. blessings. God is the one who sustains us. Yes. In Malachi, it says, put me to the test. Mm -hmm. Yes, See, yes, I will not open yes. up the windows of yes. heaven and pour out you blessing, out blessing. Oh, and you won't have room receive. enough to receive. Amen. And that's what the people in Haggai that was speaking to did not understand. They did not realize that in order to be blessed by God, you must be obedient to God. Yes, yes. amen. The Bible yes. says, seek ye first the kingdom, kingdom of God, God and his righteousness, all his righteousness. Yes. and all these things shall be added yes. unto you. Once you pledge your allegiance to God, mm -hmm. you must continue to seek the kingdom and righteousness yes, yes. in Jesus. all that we do. Yes. The Bible says, do nothing from selfish ambition or mm -hmm. conceit. Yes. Let each of you look not to your own interest, but yes. to the interest of others. My Let the Lord. same mind be in you that was in Christ, in Christ Jesus. Jesus. You yes. know, the mind that loves your neighbor as yourself. The, the mind that honors your mm -hmm. mother say it, and say your it. Yes. The mind that causes you to want to live right. The mind that serves the one and only God. Yes. And once we have that mind, we will no longer live for ourselves and promote our own selfish mm. Right. Jesus. Now, back in the text, in the ninth verse, it says you had great ambitions for yourself. Mm -hmm. But nothing has come of it. The little you have brought to my temple... I blown away, there was nothing to it. Mm. And why? The question is, and why? Because mm. while you run around caught up with taking care of your own houses, <laughs> my house is in ruins. <laughs> That's why. Because Jesus. of your stinginess. And so I've given you a dry summer and a skimpy crop. I've, I've matched your tight-fisted stinginess mm. by decreeing a season of drought and drying up the fields and the hills. Nothing, Jesus. not a man, not an animal or crop, is going Jesus. to thrive. And through my studying of the text and being able to use today's time in mm -hmm. reference, right. I can see God saying, yes, I will give you just enough to pay your bills, but you won't have any extra. I'll get your boss off your case, but I won't give you the promotion. Mm -hmm. And I see us sitting there beginning to question God. Why, why won't you move in the way that I need you, God? Why, why can Jesus. I have the abundance? Jesus. You said ask and you shall be given. Mm -hmm. We question God day in and day out on why he's not doing something for us when in all actuality, he's waiting for us to do what we need to do. Mm, we amen. struggle at times in life to believe fully in the power of God. We know that he changed water into wine. We, we know that he healed Lazarus. We know that he healed the lepers. We know he healed the blind. We know that he healed everyone. But yet we <coughs> fail to realize that sometimes in order for God to move, there's something that we first need to do, and that is have faith in him. Yes. The problem we have today is that we spend too much time in our own minds. We, we have to be able to figure everything out. We have to know all the details. But mm. for most of us, this does not work well. So I want to ask a question this morning. So take out your phone, your tablet, your pen, your paper. And the question is, how great is your God. Huh. God. I believe that today we don't utilize our faith like we should. Yes, right. We sing songs like he's able. We sing songs like how great is our God. And But we live in a state of fear because we're depending on the wrong things. Yes. The Bible says now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And, and I'm about to close, but I took this to mean that in our world today that 
these chairs have enough substance for us to sit on. And, yes. and the floor has enough substance for us to stand on. And mm -hmm. we got in our car today and drove here. So that means that our cars had enough substance to get in and drive. But I came to let you know that faith has the substance enough to get us anything we desire. Amen. Yes. Substance yes. means yes. that there's something to grab hold of. Yes. Something that exists in the natural. Can mm -hmm. I get an amen? amen? Amen. So let me see if you're with me. Faith is the substance or the assurance of things yes. hoped for yes. in the supernatural realm mm -hmm. that they will come forth in the natural realm. Mm -hmm. Yes, amen. Let me say that again. Faith is the substance or assurance of things hoped for in the supernatural realm All right, now. that they yes. will come forth in yes. the natural realm. Yes. And amen. God said whatever you ask in prayer and yes. believe that believe. you have received it, yes. that's the evidence of things not seen, yes. it yes. will be yours. And yes. if his word says by his stripes we are healed, then we are healed. If it says my God shall supply all your needs, then that means all of our needs will be met. Because he said, I am who I am. Yes. And I'm about yes. to close, but it says, it's the I am that spoke to the burning yes. my, my, my. It was the yes. I am who parted the Red Sea, and it was yeah. the I am who delivered Daniel. Yes. 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 I am who saved Joseph yes. from the of the will. And it was I am who saved Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego mm -hmm. from the fiery furnace. Yeah. And it was I am who woke you up this morning yes. and started you on yes. Amen. I'm done now, but I just came to let you know that it was I am who I am who 42 yes. generations ago was born of a Virgin Mary. And it was I am who I am who was marched from Judgment Hall to Judgment Hall. Yes. You gotta preach it! In that tomb. And it was I am who I am who they nailed to the cross, but they made that one mistake because they said if I he said if I be lifted up, mm, I will my draw mama, all men yes. to you. And you know what they did? They lifted Jesus up. Yes. So now he's gonna draw all men unto yes. himself. But I'm so glad that when they put him in the grave that he did not stay there. Yes. They put him in the borrowed tomb because he knew that he would not be That's there. right. So yes. Early Sunday morning, ah! he rose from the ah! with all power in his hands. Can I get an amen? Yes. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Stand to your feet and give God some praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Because, amen. And because he rose, and because he rose, yes. he gave all of us the opportunity to be saved. The Bible says, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised you from the dead and you will be saved. Yes. So with permission from the pastor, we're asking if there's anyone in the house today, anyone at all, who does not have Jesus as their Lord and Savior, come give your hand to the church, but most importantly, your heart to God. Yes. All you have to do is confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, yes. that God Thank raised you from the dead. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And you'll be saved. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Service back over into the, the hands of the reverence. 